All right, people, here's the deck profile for Plant Princess. So this was an odd one. Didn't expect this deck to be up on Daily Duels, but it got voted for, and it was up there for a month. It seemed like time went by. I really feel like I didn't got to get the complete feel of the deck in only one month, but, you know, that's, that's kind of the territory when it comes to Daily Duels. Anyway, it's not staying for another month. It's being replaced, and the video that and the deck that it's being replaced with is already up, so be sure to check that out as well. Anyway, Plant Princess says, At first, I was kind of like, fuck, why'd you guys give me this shitty-ass deck? But in the end, it was not too terrible. It actually uh, came out to be pretty decent. The plays were actually there. And, uh, you know, I think I did fairly decent for Attack Partner. So, that's really all that matters. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the deck profile. Is the best. No. Uh, don't, don't take this deck. You know, we're completely 100% do your own thing when it comes to this deck. It's a very creative deck, a very... Uh, fulfilling deck and it takes a lot of effort and hard work uh there was actually a synchro version but in the end i kind of felt like the XC, the xc version was better and funner and more of my cup of tea but if you guys want to do the synchro version they more power to you so uh we are on one titania she is good for being the 20 beer that if you target something you can chip another plant monster so she's great but she's not the best you don't need multiple of her uh then sal salia salia i think that's the name of it the cherry blossom um, 100 attack for each plant monster you control, including yourself, is okay, so she'll up to 29. And uh, all our face up uh, plant type monsters in the field cannot be destroyed by card effect. So if you have two of her, nah, nah, all my plant monsters can't be destroyed by card effect, so that's pretty good. And we run two uh, Chiru, 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 I don't know, uh, the Autumn Leaves. Uh, your opponent cannot attack face up plant monsters for an attack except for this one, so it's kind of like a. So the lock, which isn't terrible, this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by your opponent by battle by card effect. You can summon one other plant type monster from your deck. So pretty good, pretty good. Of course, they're supposed to be main focus, but there's a lot of other plant aspects you gotta run. Uh, they can get cloggy, so I tried to make sure that I didn't get too cloggy, so I'll go with card effect. Kind of clear that out, but still. We run one Rose Palim. That's number generator. I'm trying to exploit the, the, the LNG, so I'm like, if I run out one, I'll get it, get it, pitch it, and then you know, get the plant princess traded in. You know, it's a simple idea. I actually was running three trade in, but I had to cut it down because I uh, kind of cut down the plant princess as well. So I was like, yeah, but still uh, pretty good. And uh, there was actually a kind of door where it uh, helped out when I uh, went number generated, got the rose powder, and put in the graveyard for my partner to use Instafusion with Norton for a rank four play. So uh, then Mathematician, you know, there are some things that you want to send to their graveyard, like Dandy and, you know, Rose Lower and stuff like that. So Mathematician is there. And also, he's uh, level 3. You'll see a lot of rank 3 shenanigans. Uh, spell Striker, you know, pitch, pitch uh, I mean, remove a play spell, special summon, it's really great, you know. Uh, definitely a rank 3 enabler, in my opinion, if you're running enough spells, you know. Definitely, I like Phantom Knights and stuff, they don't run enough spells to uh, warrant running Spell Striker, but he's still good when you got the spell for him. And of course, he's a warrior, should go through Rota, and you can just banish that Rota, special summon him. Uh, two Marauding Captains to get that special summon, or three from my hand, sorry. Uh, more th rank three shenanigans, whether it be like Nordown and Captain summon Lone Fire, Trivial Fall three Lone Fire, summon Dandy X C into uh, Melia, detach the Dandy, summon my two tokens, summon you know uh, Lone Fire back, tribute Lone Fire, uh, Lone Fire tribute one of the tokens, you know. So there's shenanigans there, and he helps, he helps with that along with uh, uh, Crane Crane to revive from the graveyard as well. So the effects are negated, which kind of sucks. You can't do the whole Lone Fire thing, but you can still make. Uh, Melanie, uh, Melier, who is probably the one you're going to want to do most dandy, get some tokens. Uh, two rows over. The reason why it's at two is because I don't want number generator. Uh, you could probably run at one, but whenever I ran at one, I would always get it stuck in my hand. And it's more of a graveyard effect. You can better card from your graveyard special summon a plant type monster from your hand if you do. It's not affected by traps, so it's pretty much supposed to be an igler. Uh, you pretty much just send her, she, send her a graveyard, or she's in the graveyard. Then when the time is right, you go ahead and, and uh, banish her to special summon a plant monster. Uh, we'll probably want to print pieces from her hand and make some uh, rank 8 plays. Uh, two copy plants, same thing with her. It's at 2 because I don't want it number generator because I'll draw it. Um, the plays are there, copy the level, making in more rank 8 plays. It's not the uh, greatest and most consistent play, but it's there. I know it's a tuner, but nah, it's like, nah, screw Synchro, and I want to do the XC, so yeah. Uh, then, uh, that's the monsters, all 22 of them, uh, lineup's not too terrible, you could probably tweak it and change it your own, make it your own, but, yeah, that's the kind of, I felt that was important, some cards at one, some cards at two, some cards at three, it really depends on how I want it, and of course, keeping that LNG in mind, so, one for one, uh, you know, special summon copy plant, copy a level XC, simple as that, Regeki, of course, uh, Rota, 
there are some warriors in here to trade in. So it could be up three, it's up to you. And this is the last minute that I decided to put in two dark holes. Uh, despite my attack partner, this deck is really slow and can really get stalled out easily. Like, it's just, this is kind of, it's kind of crappy actually, just how slow it is. And it sucks to say, but that's just how some decks are. They're just slow. So I wanted to make sure that I could, you know, if I opened up a shitty Lee or I couldn't really do much, I could at least have the, the dark hole on deck just to make sure I can clean up the field and at least make room for my attack partner to get it in. So, yeah. Of course, Soul Charge, because it's broken, Foolish, of course, or more setups just like Mathematician. Triple Zone Twister, uh, favorite spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, just pitch pop too great. Uh, uh, two Solar, Super Solar Nutrients, tribute a level 2 or lower plant-type monster, especially summon one plant-type monster from your hand or deck, whose uh, tribute level is 3 plus, so uh, I, I can go ahead and summon like a Dandy Token tribute off and Guild Mom's Library, I mean, it's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, it's just an, another Lone Fire Enabler because this deck doesn't really get the ball rolling unless the Lone Fire is involved, so it just helps out the consistency. Three is too much, one is number generator, and I didn't want that, so it's like, yeah, two. It's just, that's just the way I handle it. The, the LNG, LNG is just simply if, if I don't want to see the card, but I want to see the card, like if I absolutely don't want to see the card, of course it's not the deck, but if I want to see the card but I don't want to see the card, then put it at two. You know, if I see it at three, then I just, you know, edging it on, like, hey, I absolutely want to get this card and at one. I mean, that's just the LNG right there, so. Uh, of course, three miracle fertilizers. I had some shenanigans with this. If the monster that's summoned uh, can't conduct my normal summon, but I can go ahead and summon the plant type monster from the graveyard. But if the monster, this my effect, is removed from the field, I show this card, but I'm just going to exceed. There's actually a door. I had two miracle fertilizers, and I kept on summoning back my plant princesses and making exceeds, and these stayed, and it was good. And then one symbol of heritage because Lone Fire. I mean, the whole reason why this card is limited to one is because Lone Fire. You go Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire into something else and then symbol heritage summon Lone Fire because, of course, you know, activated there's only three monsters, uh, only while there are three monsters with the same name in the graveyard, Lone Fire. Because Lone Fire can get Lone Fire, Lone Fire is not once per turn. Uh, you know, you can only leave the fact on some turn side, so Lone Fire into Lone Fire, Lone Fire into Lone Fire, Lone Fire into something else, and then all three Lone Fire in the graveyard for a uh, symbol of heritage. Alright, uh, Xyz. One uh, Heliopolis, he came through. He did, he really did. Popping, uh, is one duel. Felgram, two Felgram. Uh, I feel like if I'm gonna go in any rank eight, Felgram. I even feel like I like Felgram even more than the Galaxy Dragon. I was like, eh, stop with Felgram. Now how about I just make myself unaffected by everything? Felgram, let's go and the game monster effects. Uh, sure, new guy, Seven High Protector. He's pretty good. Uh, he actually uh, saved me in a duel too. Being able to just uh, de declare a name random doesn't matter. And if it's, if it's declared right, I get that in my hand. Just call it wrong, and then otherwise send it to the graveyard. If this card, if a card is sent to the, from your deck to the graveyard by a card effect, including this, Dutch extinguisher and target one card on the field, place it on the top of the bottom of the deck. So I literally just summon this guy, detach, call you bell. Of course, he bell's not in here. He would get it wrong. He would be milled to, uh, to the deck, and uh, I get to go ahead and put a card on my opponent's field, either place it on top of the bottom of the deck. So pretty powerful effect. Uh, then one gimmick grinder, just in case my opponent had some monsters, I wanted to go ahead and summon and pop multiple monsters. They never came up, but they're still there. Uh, Nightmare Shock, also bring threes in here, so go ahead and attack directly for a game. Uh, two Break Swords, you could probably drop this down to one, but I was like, I'd rather run Break Sword over Zen, uh, Zen Mighty, or Zen Mains. So that's why there's not Zen Mains in here, instead two Break Swords, because it's a Scrap Dragon, and Scrap Dragon's pretty good, and it's a $50 fucking card. Uh, then give you Brilliant, more attack, Abu card, pop that, pop them set cards. Um, that quick Angrenier. For protection and melon a three of them I, you could probably go with two but i want three just to go ahead and summon or send them plants that's pretty much your job make the ring three summon plants and then one seven princess because there are some ones in here and they can get cloggy so i was like screw it you know i might as well just go ahead and make up uh, exceed with them if they're just sitting there doing nothing right it's kind of slow and a tab of course i seriously doubt if i do her and then she sides all the way four torrents and then i can just summon copy plant another one of her and make an exceed but it's just in case just in case well, there you go this is Plant Princess. Uh, I, I didn't have the greatest of times with it. I'd say I have all the decks that are on Daily Duels. It was probably my least favorite just because it wasn't. It probably wasn't so cookie cutter that I could have fun with it. it. It took a lot of effort, a lot of time. It wasn't the fastest deck, and it definitely wasn't the best of tag decks, I can tell you that. But, you know, it, it got the job done, and I hope it was entertaining for the little time that it was on here. So, like I said, once in a while, I don't, I don't mind crazy and wild decks. This is probably the first one that we experienced on Daily Duels, and. Yeah, and everybody thought it was hilarious to go ahead and suggest even more crazy decks in the next poll, but luckily none of those, nothing too crazy got up on Daily Duel. I mean, Earthbound Monarchs is a, is a struggle at times, but we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. So uh, I guess, uh, you know, Earthbound Monarchs is the plant princess of this month, and you know, I don't mind as long as you guys find it entertaining. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support. 
Um, of course, I'll see you guys tomorrow with more daily duels. Except there's no deck profile. I, this is the first time. It used to, the record was two. This time it's actually three. Three decks this month actually stayed. So I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow with Necros and no deck profile because Necros are staying for the next month or so. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.